What's up boys? We just rented this MT100 and let me tell you what, a lot of people wonder, is this machine strong enough to do concrete work? Well, I'm gonna learn you today. Well, it's a nice machine. It's got its purpose and its place. It's got a lot of power. Dumped into the dump trailer fine over a fence actually, so all thing wrong with it, it's not mine, it's not paid for. We're headed out, boys. As you can see, I got the dump trailer loaded up. What's up, this is Bobby with Grub Mud Concrete. Today we're gonna be renting one of those dingo style machines, but it, the Bobcat MT100. Sod cutters don't work when the ground's this hard, so we can't get the tractor through this gate, so we figured, hey, why don't we rent one? Plus, I wanna see how good they work because I've never used one before. I've just seen them on YouTube. Yeah, I figured I'd rent one first before I actually buy one. So we'll see you guys at the rental store. All right, we're just rolling up on the rental store. Let me show you what's up. Big shout out to Dean's Rental. That's, these are my guys over here. I think they held the bobcat for me. You see everything. I'm not really, just a little quick look. They got everything. There it is right there. They held it for us. Sweet. Oh my goodness. I'd let him drive it, that old man drive it up. Those things got pretty good traction. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't know they'd go right up that. <laughs> you got anything you want to tell them? Thanks for clicking on the video. We're at the uh, rental place, like I said. And uh, people are just getting either bringing stuff back or they're getting stuff for the day. And I called them about a week ago and asked them to reserve this one little piece of equipment for me because I really want to try out. Before I ever buy anything on a bobcat, <clears throat> you guys know I made that community post and I was asking which one you think would be better for me. Before I ever want to do anything, I want to try out one of the best stand on skid steers. This one right here, I believe, is the second best. And I don't know, I haven't played with any of them. I don't even know if any of them are any good or whatever, but I know one guy that swears by him, and that's JM Concrete on YouTube. He T100 is what we're getting. The, okay. the, we called and reserved it. Oh. Just pull right up behind that. I'm gonna get the ramps down. That treads are wide, Dad. We'll check it out. I want to get all the measurements on it just to see about what it is. Tell me, get with him if you want to buy it. He said he's going to sell it. He said he's going to sell it. But if you're going to get one, you might as well get a track machine if it's in good shape. Just don't get one that's all worn out. Damn, they closed the road just for us. There's my dad right there. He's just now getting here. We're at the job, boys. My dad's just pulling up too. Yeah, that's terrible. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Stay wide. Hold on, come on back. Start cutting it. 
Perfect. Come on back. Keep coming. Come on. It's kind of messing us up. We can close it here in just a second. All right, come on back. That way, just a hair. Come on back. Perfect. Straighten out. You're good. Whoa. Come on back about two feet. Straighten it out. Perfect. Come on back. Keep coming. Keep coming. Whoa. That's good for now, I think. Looks like you took some stuff on that right there, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good, really. I think I that'll... That much dirt. That's some backing up skills right there, Dad. Look at that. That's like an inch away. Man, I had to... I didn't want it to hook. I don't want it to hook it on the way out. It's... Trust me, it's really tight. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get started here. I got to get a couple shovels out. Um, I'm going to let my dad try to run the machine. He's pretty good on machines. I'll have to get my tape out. I remember what it looks like. It's coming off the edge of that window, and it's basically making a... Outside that window, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. That, and it's like 12 feet. Don't go too deep. You're looking good. That's good. A little deep. It's all right. That's what I'm saying. You want that plywood right here where you're backing up on? Hold on. See how this works. Working. Working out pretty good. Up a little. There you go. Up. Feels that side right off. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Dang, that thing's nice. Up just a hair. Better than that dingo, isn't it? We were in the dingo one time. I'll tell you what, this thing is a hundred times better than that J&M concrete. I like it. It's big though, it is big. It's bigger than I thought, but so far, man, what we'll do is we'll come up this side right here and we'll get a good cut right there. I'll move this plywood around. He'll get as much out as he can right there. We gotta pull those railroad ties as well. Down just a hair, there you go. something back up you want to stay right there for a second turn that down for a second so far what are your thoughts on it what'd you say it it digs easy in this ground this ground's soft though we could have probably used a sod cutter, but it wouldn't have dug very good. All right, bag up. Really? 
roots. Roots, roots, we got roots. All right, back up. All right, I gotta get these sweats off in the shirt. There you go. That literally took us about 10 minutes to dig out with that thing. Flatten it out. It is nice to have the plywood around. Keep it towards the front. Are you there? All right. Back, you didn't get it. Back up. Back up. Scoot all the way back. I gotta move this plywood back a little bit. Damn, come on, baby. Show me what you got on a little bit of hard ground. There you go, you got it. You're getting it. Whoa, same thing, one more time, you got a root, that's why. Give it a little throttle. My dad always likes to leave the throttle down when he's using the machine, I'm not really sure why. You can give it some gas. You're getting it. Damn, son. Getting it. Thing's got some reach, son. side of this window. Wow, that's deep. All right. All right, turn it down for a second. Help me measure. Come here for a second. We'll get the same measurement right here up over there. It's 14 feet two. Holy Toledo. So really about, about right here. Things working great. That's what he sees, he can't see the front of the bucket. Put it back down and hit that hump out. Come on. You're about there. There you go. You're getting it. All right, we'll get the rest with the shovel. Huh? Hold on, Dad. We got too much in the way. I think it dug it out twice as fast as your tractor. The backhoe part? Yeah, it did. You can't deny that. It took us 15 minutes to tear that out or to dig that out. It would have taken us an hour and a half with your tractor. But it would have been precise with your tractor, which is pretty precise. I'll be right back. 
he don't want to give the little machine any shine but i'll tell you what the machine whew, that thing's a beast i got gotcha. you he don't want to give it no shine but i'll tell you what that little mt100 that thing works i can't wait to use the jackhammer on it you were right joe you know i wanted to rent this before and i'm not saying i'm buying one of these I'm, i would like to try the kubota um I'm gonna do my homework first, that's for sure. He, my dad don't think it worked faster than his tractor, but it did. And my dad's tractor couldn't have got in there through that big gate. It would have been in trouble. But anyways, I'm getting a chain to get these big six by six posts out. And then technically we can start forming. I got two chains. Two, what'd you say? Two, two chains. We got two chains. See if this thing can lift it. The side of the bucket. All right, you got it. All right, hold on, set it back down. Try that. Let me get a picture of you. Lift it up. You're gonna have to get it up higher than that. You got it. That thing does tear up the yard a little bit, but not much. She said she'll burn these, so we'll just get them out here. Worked out perfect. Let me get a picture of you. Can you lift it up as high as you can go? Set her down. That's all she wrote. Next one. We just got this out. I gotta turn this sideways so you can slide through the gate. Perfect. Good job. Now we need some stone. You know what I mean? You, you can bring it in here with the Kubota and take this back. Bring it in with the Kubota. Why don't we just bring it in with that? Kip, the Kubota won't fit through here. It will dump over that edge though. I don't care. That's fine. You said just dump it over this with the Kubota. All right, that's fine. It's pretty fast too. Look at it. I think it did a good job. As you see, it dumped over this fence. Did a great job. It's pretty fast too. Look at it. Turn it down. What's up? And that rock up there, we're gonna use it for fill, right? Yeah, we'll spread it out. It's not. It's not really in the way. We'll mix it in. Uh, I need you to pull this truck out because I gotta guide you. Open up this gate. Almost there, keep going. All right, you got it. Keep going. You're out. 
Damn, we got a flat tire, hold on. We got a flat tire. Bigger than shit. It's flatter than flat. It ain't going back. We gotta jack this up or something. That ain't that's that's actually got some air in it. I think we could air it up. It messed it up, look. But we'll have to go get the air compressor. I guess we could take this machine back, get the air compressor. I got my generator. We'll, uh, we'll air it up because it's still got some air in it. Look. I'm going to drive this machine back. We're going to take this back. Got to fill it up with diesel. I like it. give it a thumbs up I give it a thumbs up I like it you want to just put this strap around it because I left the chains back there all right so a lot of guys are saying Bobby get the big machine if you're gonna buy one get the big machine and if you ever need the little one just rent it well, let me tell you, that little one's 400 bucks to rent, which isn't that bad for the day, I guess. Um, I don't know what it is with the jackhammer on it. Breaker. It's got a breaker, too, which is nice. He's selling the whole thing. We already got a big machine. It's a Kubota Backo, that tractor. That thing is a... If it had a bigger bucket, that thing would be just fine, I think. My, I didn't run it. My dad did, so I'm going to let you guys hear from the guy that ran it. It's a nice machine. It's got its purpose and its place. Um, it's a lot heavier than the Dingo. It's a lot it's better. Got, it's got a lot of power. Uh, I would have liked to have had a, a tooth bucket on it, but it worked with what we did. And, uh, you know, it, it dumped into the dump trailer fine over a fence, actually. So, yeah, that was it's got a lot of positives to it. Uh, only thing wrong with it, it's not mine, it's not paid for. And on a big job, you need a bobcat. Like yeah, that's not a lot of something, something that you got to move a little ways or go move material in a little ways. You need something faster. That thing is kind of slow. It's a little bit faster in walking speed. Now, the Kubota that I like, that thing flies. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, that's the one I really want to try. So maybe in the next time when we do this, I'm going to rent one of those because I'm going to obviously do my homework on everything, you know, and I'm not in any hurry to do anything. Um, but anyways, I, uh, I also was looking at a computer last night, Dad. I'm going to get a computer for my YouTube. You always got to fill them up with, gas, with diesel before you bring them back. I think it's a very capable machine, though. I loved it. Uh, we're not going to get a lot done today. We just wanted to dig it out and put some stone in if we got time. This machine here has like 323 hours on it cracks already got some cracks in them just regular little cracks or big cracks decent sized cracks i'm gonna check them out we're at the rental we're pulling in the rental place i'm gonna leave you guys on for a minute but i don't know how many hours do you get out of out of a set of tracks if anybody knows we'll, we'll only get 400 out of these oh wow yeah. is that just because the rentals or because yeah. the guy i think a guy could get more than that if for he had sure. okay yeah, especially on the ditch which is yeah. a little longer oh, okay all right i appreciate it Big shout out to Dean's Rental for hooking us up. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.